What's up YouTube, John, JD's Outdoors. Today's video, I want to go over that, uh, that little homemade RO. I've had a lot of good questions over the last year on uh, how I built it and some different things. But today I wanted to go through something just a little more specific. So if you've seen the video on me operating this and then how I built it, using it for making maple syrup, um, you know a little bit about it. It's just a twin membrane. Uh, four inch by 40 towers, one 10 volt pump, and the thing works really good for what it is. But one thing I never really put much time and thought into and explanation is the pre-filter. Now the pre-filter currently isn't in it because the season's over with and I have to uh, get it summarized. But this leaves me with the perfect opportunity to explain to you what I've figured out over the last couple of years of running this thing. So this unit has two seasons on it, and as you know, there's multiple different types of pre-filters that you can put in there. It's essentially the same one that you would uh, put in a whole house filtration system. So I've done a lot of testing, and I've even had companies reach out to me, send me some products to test. Uh, one of them is not very happy with me because I didn't get a video out fast enough, but I believe in testing things thoroughly before I give my opinion and review on them. So here we have three different types of filters, some new, some slightly used, two different manufacturers. Now Membrane Solutions, which is the manufacturer of this one, was kind enough to send me out some products to test out, one of which was this 5 micron filter. Though this filter worked awesome and it lasted a couple days, I still wasn't 100% happy with its performance. Let's go back to the beginning and I will explain some of the other filters that I've used. I'm not going to name the brands, but this filter right here would last approximately half a day. After half a day of running, you could see it would start to get sucked in and it would get, all the pores would get clogged up and it would slow the performance on this machine. Typically, when this 110 RO is running, it's running between 115 and 120 PSI. When you would first put that filter in, it would run there for a few hours, no problem. But then it would slowly drop down and max out about 50 PSI, which just isn't performing very well. So we had two options. One, either put two of these filters in a day or switch out to something different. Now, Membrane Solutions saw that I was using these types of filters and they sent me these five micron filters. Now, one thing I noticed with these filters is they maintain very good flow. They would only start to slow down a little bit after about the second day of running. So I could get easily 2,000 gallons of sap through this filter as to where I could only get maybe 500 out of that one before it would start losing performance. So I instantly noticed that this was a much better value, they're pretty much the same cost. Now after I got done testing the box that they sent me of these, I hopped on their website and I saw what else they had available, which led me to finding these string wound 5 micron filters that I purchased myself. Now after thorough testing, I didn't get to use the entire box because the season ran a little short, but this filter right here, has four days of runtime on it, and it's still good enough to keep going. In this unit here, in our setup and our small operation, we usually average right around 1,000 to 1,500 gallons of sap on a good day. And for those of you that do maple syrup, you know near the end of the season, the sap isn't quite as clean as it is on the beginning of the season. So this one probably has between three and 4,000 gallons of not the cleanest sap through it. And it's still good to go. Although, being it's the end of the season, that one's going to get thrown away. We're going to start off next year with a brand new filter. So I think it's pretty obvious which is your better solution. Like I said earlier in the video, I apologize, Membrane Solutions. I do thoroughly appreciate you sending me out stuff to test. But I believe in testing before I put out videos based on my opinions. And if you guys do get to watch this, I believe that the results speak for themselves. 
you know, 500 gallons versus 2,000 gallons versus easily four to five, I will test that out again next year to see exactly how many days I can get out of it. The season just ran a little short before I got to thoroughly test those completely. But they've already doubled the performance of, of the uh, first ones that you guys sent me. And I'm appreciative that you sent me that. Thank you. And for those of you watching this video, you guys can be the judge. I will leave links in the descriptions of both of the membrane solutions filters uh, based on your production and how much you want to run through will dictate which one you want to go with. Um, I've been very happy with the performance of this RO. Next year, I am going to build a new one, I think. I want to do something a little bit different. Um, but in the meantime, we got this entire summer. Get this thing uh, cleaned up, pickle the, pickle the membranes, get all my old filters thrown away, and get ready for next season. And being that it's summertime doesn't mean you don't need to stop worrying about filtration setups. Membrane Solutions was nice enough to send me an RV water filter, because for those of you that don't know, I live off grid in a camper. Um, except for filming my videos. I steal a shop. Works out great. But for those of you that like to uh, do some camping, they have these filters, similar to the ones that you can buy at Walmart. But these ones seem to... Uh, Seem to pull out quite a bit more imperfections, impurities in the water. Um, I've been using this for a few weeks now on my camper, and the water tastes awesome coming out of it. And I fill it with well water. I kept the box just so I could show you guys. There is the model number, a little bit of information on the filter. And based on what I've learned from the pre-filters on the... RO, I can't say high, I can't say enough good things about membrane solutions, except for they get a little impatient with me on my video making processes. But that's okay. Testing's done, ready for next season. As always, thank you for watching JDS Outdoors. If you have any other questions on the RO, how to build it, if you want to see me build the brand new one, it's going to be a four tower. A little bit of 120, 220 volt mixture in there. Should be pretty fun. Drop some uh, questions down in the comments. Do my best to answer them.